I got a little kitten, little mush cat. And what are you going to name it? Mush cat. That's mush cat. Mush, cat? Yeah. mush. All right. Mush the cat. You, isn't the cat redundant? <laughs> I miss mush. Is the <laughs> so is the, like the grieving period over for Joe, and now it's time to well, move on? Well, it's an orange. He's an orange cat too. Oh. People are going to think. People are going to think it's like I'm trying to replace Joe the cat. Joe the cat's like the third orange cat I own. I like. Yeah. I, I have a theory, and it's turned out to be true so far, like, with one glaring exception, and that is that orange male cats have the best personalities. The one exception being Garfield. No, fucking Seamus. He, Heathcliff? Your, your oh, cat. Seamus. Oh, Seamus. Seamus was, Seamus was Gus's cat, and he was a fucking nightmare. He was not good. He would do that deep bite. <laughs> like, he would bite and, like, draw when, blood. I remember when I went, I went to the, I got him from the shelter, um, the one that used to be down here on Town Lake. I went down to the shelter. You know, they have all the cats, like, in cat prison. They're all, like, behind cages. <laughs> and I was walking through, and uh, she, I, the reason Seamus stood out was he was reaching his right front paw out like this. And I thought, oh, that's really kind of cute. He's like waving, trying to get attention. No, he was trying to scratch. Yeah, he was. <laughs> I, I, he I, was you, it. I don't remember why, but eventually you decided that you no longer had room in your life I for I had Seamus. to move to a, a different place. So I took Seamus over. And do you remember when we brought Seamus home and Sarah, first wife again, <laughs> went up to it and stuck her face in front of Seamus and said, aren't you so cute? You're so cute. And she'd known the cat. She knew the cat Seamus. had been a nightmare. Yeah. And you go, don't do that. And I go, don't do that. And she goes, it's okay. He's happy here. And right when she said that, he grabbed her right here and went and she reached oh. back already in tears blood everywhere and that's what it was like until he moved on it was it, he would he, it was like a face hugger from alien just he got would, in there he deep she had scars it was bad he oh. would sit at the top i don't know if you remember this but yep. he would sit at the top of the house on the roof where the roof crested and he would sit there and he would just watch the neighborhood and if he saw anything that he didn't like like a dog that was 60 pounds bigger than him he would run down the side of the house and take off after it he would chase cars remember yeah that? and one day he chased after something and he never came back well he, he would chase after raccoons all the time and i assume he's still on an adventure somewhere <laughs> he's still running yeah to this day he was the meanest angriest animal hey everybody thanks for watching uh believe it or not that was a true story that cat really existed and if you don't like this video and subscribe to our channel i was gonna send that cat to your house i'm not kidding he's on his way so you better like and subscribe or he's gonna be there any second now what if they want the cat if you want the cat you better like and subscribe